It's Eva, and if you guys are new to this channel, this is my side channel, which is all about food. And I also have a main channel with beauty and fashion and a gaming channel as well. So whatever you want to check out, you know, just go check it out. <laughs> For this video, I'm actually going to be making a unicorn pizza, which originated from Industry Kitchen, or at least that's where I found it on Instagram, since this is the series where I remake things off Instagram that I feel looks cool or is just trending. Obviously, this is just a recreation, and it's kind of based off the taste, off of what I found on the internet, because a lot of people said it tastes like a sugar cookie, so that's why I kind of went with that type of base. I've never tried the original, but if I ever, ever get a chance to, I would love to. And obviously, this is a recreation, so whenever you can support the original, definitely do that. Obviously, that's a very notable thing of their restaurant, so they make hundreds and hundreds, so they must be professionals, but this, this is some at-home making and experimentation that I've done, so I don't know if it'll taste the same. I gotta try the original to find out. I guess let's get on with this process, and if you guys do want to know how it tastes, just wait until the end when I try it out. I'm going to be using a basic sugar cookie recipe since people said it tasted like one. I will just leave the recipe I used down below. But anyway, start with softened butter and try to avoid it leaving the foil on it. <laughs> and then go in with your sugar. I know it's a lot of sugar. Don't freak out. It is called a sugar cookie. Just remember that. Then just cream it all together. Add your egg and then mix again. Then add salt vanilla, and baking powder. And of course, again, mix it all together. After that, it's time to add in the flour. I would really recommend that you add it slowly to avoid making a mess because if there's too much flour in the bowl while you're trying to mix, it's gonna get everywhere and I've made that mistake so many times because I'm such a lazy person when it comes to this type of stuff. But trust me, maybe go about like cup by cup And then at a certain point, you might just find it easier to go in with your hands and knead it all together. Now let's get to the fun stuff, the dyes. I'm using gel dyes, but regular food coloring works too. Don't freak out, but I'm also going to remove indigo because the video said they used six colors and blue and indigo are pretty similar in my opinion, so I just got rid of that. Split the dough into six equal balls because we will be coloring each of these balls a different color. Now with one ball at a time, add a bit of food coloring and mix it in. I highly advise using gloves to avoid dyeing your fingers. I'm also doing this on a silicone mat so it doesn't stick everywhere, but if you do have a non-stick surface or a countertop, feel free to use that as well. Next, just roll each color into a long sausage and smooth them together. It doesn't have to be perfect. I did find it hard to roll together at one point because this dough isn't super stretchy. So I did start pinching it together and kind of making it look like pretty ugly sausages. It's alright though because once you smooth it out, it does get rid of any crazy gaps that you might have. The video did show them having more of a swirling type of pattern in the rainbow dough, but I went for more of a marbled effect, so I just folded the dough and squished it into a circle. Then put it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake it for 8 to 10 minutes or until the edges start to slightly brown. I probably could have taken it out sooner if I wanted it to be more soft. Then taking your icing of choice, I would typically use buttercream but I couldn't find any at the time for whatever reason so I'm just using some white vanilla frosting which works just the same. Spread it as if it was the sauce. Then 
Then add some cotton candy in the middle. This is me trying to fluff up the cotton candy from the container, which is actually a really hard task. So if you guys have any fresh cotton candy, I highly recommend using that instead of a containered one. And finally, sprinkles! They do also use Pop Rocks in the video as well, but I don't really like the idea of Pop Rocks on anything other than by itself on my tongue, so I passed on that and just stuck to really cute sprinkles that I found at Bulk Barn. And then you're done! Time to cut yourself a piece, which was actually very difficult for me since the cotton candy kept sticking to the knife and it was just really hard to keep the entire thing looking decent. <laughs> But anyways, let's get on to the tasting. Alright, so here's the unicorn pizza and I'm actually kind of excited to try it out. I hope it does taste like a good sugar cookie. It is kind of soft, which I really like because I don't really like hard cookies or crunchy cookies. I don't know. But let's just give this a try. Mm. Oh, those two bites were a lot of sugar. Overall, I'm actually really happy with how that turned out and how it tastes. I'm definitely going to be eating the rest, though. Really, really slowly because that's a lot of sugar. I'm not sure if I like the texture of the cotton candy after it kind of just like starts to melt together and not be as fluffy. It kind of has like more of a chewy texture and it's a little too chewy for me for like a soft cookie. However, the frosting does actually taste pretty good on it even though it wasn't buttercream. I'm pretty sure buttercream would taste amazing as well. But obviously, it's edible and that's all that matters really. If you guys do try and make it, please show me because I want to see all your creations. If you aren't subscribed yet, please do so with the notification bell ticked. And also give me a big thumbs up so that I know to continue this series and that you guys actually like this stuff. If you have anything you want to see me recreate, then leave it down below and I'll read all of it. Trust me and maybe it'll just become a video. Other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!